In this episode, we want to share another beautiful freedom camping spot in the Bay of Plenty with you guys. Get on your feet, this side's to see. Rolling hills or city streets. Ocean to ocean and all in between. It's out there just waiting on you and me. Take it in, we got no plan. This is one of our favorite freedom camping spots here near Fakatani and we are right in the Ohiva Harbor. It's only a short drive over the hill from Fakatani basically and there's a beautiful campsite right by the boat ramp towards the Ohiva Harbor. You're camping right by the water. Best of all, it's free if you have a self-contained vehicle, a caravan or motorhome, something like that. Yep, you can go fishing there, right there from the campsite. That's why it's a great camping and fishing spot, right? And yeah, in this episode, we will also meet up with our old friend, Mike, who is a local legend here in Fakatani. He's got a really cool YouTube channel, Weka Digital Media. We made some videos with him before here in this area. You might have seen our oyster catching video before. And also where Haitian caught this big kingfish on a hand line and Mike took us to the motor river mouth. Awesome video, if you haven't seen that, it's all linked in the description guys. All right, we're just about uh, set up to go fishing and look who's here. Our secret guest here. Who? Where? What? <laughs> Where? What? Why? Hey, wake up man, how's it going? Hey, good. Uh... I haven't seen you for a little while. Sure. How are you? Yeah. Missed you guys. Yeah, missed you too. The plan is to well, we'll a fish at the Ohope Harbor at uh, your local Keats here. There's a couple of spots up here we'll go to. That's the only spots here that you'd be best to fish at. Yeah, yeah. You can fish anywhere along here, really, but there's a couple of spots that jut out. Yeah. I've camped so many uh, times at this uh, particular fishing and camping spot here, but you know, honestly, I've never actually surf cast here. And uh, most people, they come here for surf casting, so today is actually the, tie, the day. First time I'm trying surf casting here. So. And change of light is definitely night fishing here is more productive than day fishing. Yeah, yeah. Day night. fishing here is. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. No. Even for Travelli and things like that? No, not really. Yeah. No, it's night, night fishing is the best. Night yeah. fishing, definitely the best. Really? Yeah, they're just so geared up. Oh, it's a golf ball fish, look. The plan is to do a little bit of an evening surf cast, take you along and show you a little bit of the harbour and of this beautiful campsite. Now from the campsite here at the Hiva Harbour you can just walk straight to the beach basically and fish straight off there if you have a surf caster. There's also a boat ramp just right next to the campsite for launching a kayak or a small boat which is really handy. But it's also a very short walk along the beach or along the little reserve to the mouth of the Ohiva Harbor, to the entrance. And that is a really good land-based fishing spot there. Tonight, Mike and us, we're going to be walking there. We're going to find ourselves a nice spot there and do a little bit of surf casting. Let's learn from the master of this area. What sort of rig are you using? Well, I just use my standard running sinker. Running sinker, on a yeah, yeah. single hook. Sometimes I use two hooks. You don't use dropper rigs at all? Not, not here, no. no. I just prefer, I always just like using my running sinker. It just works really well. Okay. I've got a four ounce on there. Is that a three? It's probably a bit light. It's a four. I'll throw a four out because it's still quite slack at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Don't really have to cast so far either. Eh? So the once, channel is right here. Once the tide comes in, man, it's these things don't stay very well. Like, oh, really? Yeah? Hold, no, you got to get for the heavy. Okay, I might heavy, have to change mine too. Heavy six sinks, six ounces here. I think I've got a pretty lightweight on at the moment. Oh shit, I should have tied up a, a running sinker then. I might have to do that still. Oh! What you got for bait there? Just do what you want to do. You, how you want to do it? Um, you got some pilchards here. I've got pilchards here. And I've got a, this has been in the freezer for a while. I haven't used it for a while, but one of the fishing reminders salted. Oh, okay. It's been in the freezer for a while because it's yeah, a bit, yeah. um, a bit looking a bit old now. But <laughs> look at that. I haven't used it for a while, but um, look, there's already a bait ready already in there. Oh no, 
Oh shit. I think they've been already in there. Mm, little bait rust, oh, yeah. rusted out from being mm -hmm. there. They should be alright if they're salted and then frozen. Uh, they would be lasting forever basically. Yeah. And still be fishing with them in thousand years. You get it, see? It's been in. <laughs> uh, these from a previous trip. These are nice pretties from Iceman. These are nice pilchers, look. Oh, yeah. yeah. They've been in the freezer for a while, but they're really nice, nice pilchers. I used yeah. to use half a pilcher on there. You have to be careful with the bait purchase. Sometimes they've been defrosted and refrozen and defrosted yeah. and refrozen. You get really shitty baits, eh? Yes, exactly. And especially if you're paying top dollar for your bait. Yeah. But Mike gave me a little pilcher. So you got to put the pilcher on. I only got one hook on each rod here. Got a couple of BKK size 4 circle hooks on at the moment. And hopefully they don't get eaten by an eagle ray straight away. That would be annoying. The current will be running pretty strong soon. So I don't know if that sinker is strong enough for that. Might have to replace that with something a little bit heavier soon. But for now, should be alright. Very popular spot for fishing. Quite a few fishers are uh, walking past us here already. Some fish a little bit further there by the mouth. Alright, the lucky warehouse rock. Teaching us everything normally, so hopefully this time. And Heijin here, she is on the soft baits today. And we got the Grim Reaper on there. So maybe there's a car way around, or I bet Trevelli, they really like those Grim Reapers as well. So that's our aim here, actually. Uh, with the incoming tide, there should be quite a few Trevelli and car way maybe coming through. And maybe we even, if we're really lucky, we might even get a snapper on the bait. We'll see. We're probably gonna get a beautiful sunset. It's looking pretty good. Weka is over there, so we need quite a bit of space, four rods set up, getting all these uh, rods sorted here, without any line tangles, yeah, awesome, the seal hasn't stolen my bait yet, I'm surprised, it's still there. I just use cheap stuff, that's my, um, I'm using 40 pound. Oh yeah, that's your main line is it? Or, uh, or do you use uh, it for trays as well? I'm not quite remember, I can't. I've got two there, um, 60 pounds. Yeah. I use that as a leader trace. sometimes, yeah, or a trace, yeah. yeah. I can't remember what I was using. Um, no, 40 pound I'll use this, as, you can use that as a um, as top your, leader. As your trace as well, yeah. Or leader, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Ice. the most economical way to go because you got yeah. a big roll and you can use it as as, as your leader. Trace yeah. or leader, right? Yeah, yeah. So my main line is 25 pound. I used to be, you always use 30. Yeah. So I thought I'll if I go lighter, I'm gonna fish at the coast. I like to go heavy line because you get big fish, heavy line. Yeah, yeah. But um, two heavies, no good for other areas, eh? Yeah, yeah. I bet Haitian is gonna be the only one who's gonna catch a fish again today with her little spinner there. Even if she would catch a small little yellow-eyed mullet or something on there, then we could use it as a fresh yeah. bait, that would be good. Or a small car or something. A lot of guys, they target, um, they target sharks in here too. Oh yeah. I've seen yeah. photos of guys with big bronzies in here. Yeah, there would be some they, big bronzies in here. They, they target them. This is the, this is a nursery for them here too, for the, for the raise their young. Yeah. I've seen some big photos, I go, oh, that's a big buddy shark. This minute, it's down the harbour. Hell, it's just mm -hmm. up here by the, by the car park. Big bronzies. We've also made another video in this harbor about me motorizing my pedal board. Just after I bought my new Vaquita e-propulsion electric submotor. And look who's wandering around here in the picture. So there's Haitian as well. And yeah, so where was I? Okay, yeah, I bought the uh, Vaquita e-propulsion motor and I wanted to try that on my sub pedal board and we also filmed this in this harbor so yeah link for that video is in the description as well if you're interested in that and so unfortunately on our evening surfcast uh, it wasn't that productive only managed to catch one small snapper after dark and that was pretty much it, it was a little bit early in the year i think this ohiva harbor really shines 
later in the year. March, April is probably a good time to go fishing here. But I've seen lots of people catch good fish here. Trevally, just out where we were fishing by the mouth. And I've also seen people catch some nice snapper here in the harbor. Yeah, definitely it's a productive fishing spot here at times. Now you gotta be aware that there are lots of stingrays and eagle rays in the harbor, so you'd probably be uh, pulling in a few of those when you fish with bait here. So that's, that's a bit of a nuisance, but sometimes they can also be fun to catch because they have a lot of power. It's just the releasing is a bit of a pain with those eagle rays because you gotta be careful of their stings, right? Also in our previous episode, we were here at the Ohiva Harbor testing our handheld bait cannon uh, together with Mike as well. Uh, that was a pretty cool video if you haven't seen that so far. First test of the handheld bait cannon. It's also linked in the description. So not catching anything at the evening surf cast. We just had a little barbecue <laughs> the next day. Are you hungry? Nice little barbecue. Really nice place to set up a barbecue here at this campsite. Nice quiet spot. We really enjoyed that. All in all, we just wanted to share this nice freedom camping spot in the Bay of Plenty with you guys because this is definitely one of our favorite spots. And if you have a self contained vehicle, I can highly recommend the spot. You know, not only for the fishing, but also for the great camping location there and yeah the fishing is always a bonus in places like this so bring your kayak along go out into the harbor it's a pretty safe spot for kayaking and if not just a bit of surf casting I'm sure you'll be able to catch some fish there thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you hate camping and fishing you never want to see any camping and fishing spots again in your life you just want to hang around in a city go to seafood restaurants eat commercially caught fish see you next time